I got a grade nine in GCSE biology and this is exactly how you are going to revise if you want to get that grade as well. And if you don't have the attention span to watch this entire thing right now, I encourage you to save this video for later. If you take one thing away from this video, I want it to be this. Please do not allocate the exact same amount of time to revising every single topic in GCSE biology. Hot take, but some of the topics are significantly easier than others. Everybody will find slightly different things easier. For me, I found plants a walk in the park. It was so easy. I could do it with my eyes closed. The human body, the heart, the kidneys, the eye. No. I spent so much of my revision time focusing on that part of the specification because it just confused me. It was so difficult. I cannot recommend YouTube enough for biology. It is a very conceptually difficult GCSE. Even if you remember everything, you may not understand it. And that is what I've thought YouTube was so, so helpful. You will have a teacher describing a topic to you in a slightly different way than what your teacher has. And sometimes that's all you need to get your head around it. Oftentimes when I was trying to understand something in GCSE biology, I would use various different YouTube videos because I think I understood it and then realize I hadn't understood it. So I would have to go back and watch a few different people speak about this thing before I actually got my head around it. And there is no shame in admitting that. However, there really is a lot to remember and you need to be using flashcards. Absolutely plow through the flashcards and then plow through the practice paper. Again, those six more questions are so important. You need to understand how to answer them. And depending on the key word of the question, you will answer the question different. I have an entire video about how you answer six mark questions in all of the GCSE sciences. Be sure to check my playlist for that. But in addition to that, sometimes you just do need to remember things. You know, what is the mitochondria? What is the definition of it? And do not say the powerhouse of the cell. More difficult things like neurons. I found that quite difficult. Critically understanding how all of these things link together. I think this is one of the reasons that I found the human body so difficult because literally everything is interconnected. Also recommend using active reef or through blurting about a specific specification point. So choose, I don't know, photosynthesis and write down everything that you know about it. And you can give yourself some prompts without necessarily giving away the answer. So what is the formula? How does it occur? What organisms does it occur in? Those kind of things. This guided blurting approach is really helpful. Select a specific topic and go back with your CGP revision guide and fill in the blanks and focus on those areas for your revision. Go and watch a YouTube video on chlorophyll if needs be. If you like this video and found it helpful, be sure to follow for more daily GCSE tips.